It's her. The wrinkled human that stole my mask. Please, I must speak with her. The woman traces glyphs in the air, and you cringe, expecting a barrage of ice and fire. Instead, a bit of smoke sputters forth. She cries to the skies in frustration in a recognizable rail-thin rasp. My lord, I've loved you. I've obeyed you. What's my sin? How long must I suffer? She sees Fane approach and punches her fist in his direction. Her face flushes red. It's her, the one that destroyed the ship to Fort Joy. Her eyes flare with recognition. She demands to know who Fane is, what he is. No one should be able to craft something like his mask. Fane dances around her question and reverses it. Who is she? Who is this lord of hers? She does not seem eager to answer him either. The witch opens her mouth to speak, but something happens. Her face droops and her eyes turn black. Fane, the traitor, shall be destroyed. Her eyes clear and she turns her head to the heavens once more. I offer this sacrifice to you. Return me to your side. Make me howl. Come between us again.
magisters aren't the only ones looking for me, but who is it? And why? faces. Not as fair as my true visage, but better than being seen as a monster. I must say, I was hoping to enjoy a smug advantage over everyone else. Lacking skin may make me a target for mortals, but I am mercifully immune to mosquitoes. However, they are infuriating when they get in one skull. I can barely hear myself think. Given enough time, I could walk from this island to the shore. But time is in short supply. I must procure a quick way off this island, and that means procuring a ship. Something which seems unlikely in the depths of this swamp. Perhaps we should explore the coast. Something has changed. You are you, but more. You are another, but not. You look to your hands, your belly, your feet. Flesh you don't know, molded into unfamiliar shapes. You cradle your aching head, where another's memories and wisdoms mix with your own. Your fingers trace a line from your head to your face, feeling not the creases of the mask, but the porous surface of new skin. You lower your arm, blink twice, and step forward in this new guise. 